the real-life story and tragic ending of Pat Morita. Pat Morita was born in Isleton, California in 1932. Morita's father Tamaru, had immigrated to California from Kumamoto Prefecture on the Japanese island of Kyushu in 1915. Morita's mother Momoe, had immigrated to California in 1913. He had a brother named Hideo. Morita developed spinal tuberculosis at the age of two and spent the bulk of the next nine years in the Shriners Hospital in San Francisco. For long periods he was wrapped in a full body cast and was told that he would never walk. Released from the hospital at age 11 after undergoing extensive spinal surgery and learning how to walk. After about a year and a half, he was transferred to the Thule Lake War Relocation Center. After World War II ended, Morita moved back to the Bay Area and he graduated from Armillo High School in Fairfield, California in 1949. For a time after the war, the family operated Ariaki Chop Suey, a restaurant in Sacramento, California. Morita would entertain customers with jokes and serve as master of ceremonies for group dinners. After Morita's father was die in 1956 by a brutal hit-and-run accident while walking home from an all-night movie, Morita and his mother kept the restaurant going for another three or four years. However, Morita suffered from occupational burnout and decided to quit his job and try show business. He began working as a stand-up comedian at small clubs in Sacramento and San Francisco, and took the stage name Pat Morita, in part due to the presence of comedians including Pat Henry and Pat Cooper, and in part due to memories of the priest he had befriended as a boy. Morita struggled for many years in comedy. Morita later worked as the opening act for singers Vic Damone and Connie Stevens and for his mentor, the comedian Red Fox. Fox later gave him a role on his sitcom Sanford and Son in the early 1970s. Morita's first movie roles were as a henchman in Thoroughly Modern Millie, 1967, and a similar role in The Shakiest Gun in the West, 1968, starring Don Knotts. Later, a recurring role as South Korean Army Captain Sam Pak on the sitcom M*ASH, 1973, helped advance the comedian's acting career. He had a recurring role on the show Happy Days as Matsuo Arnold Takahashi, owner of the Diner Arnold's for the show's third season, 1975-1976, and made guest appearances in 1977 and 1979 during the show's fourth and sixth season, respectively. After the season's end, he left the show to star as inventor Taro Takahashi in his own show Mr. T and Tina, the first Asian-American sitcom on network TV. The sitcom was placed on Saturday nights by ABC and was quickly cancelled after a month in the fall of 1976. Morita revived the character of Arnold on Blansky's Beauties in 1977 and eventually returned to Happy Days during the 10th season, 1982-1983. Morita had another notable recurring television role on Sanford and Son, 1974-1976, as Ah Chu, a good-natured friend of Lamont Sanford. Morita gained particular fame playing wise karate teacher Mr. Miyagi who taught young Daniel San the art of karate in The Karate Kid. He was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor and a corresponding Golden Globe Award, reprising his role in three sequels, The Karate Kid Part 2, 1986, The Karate Kid Part 3, 1989, and The Next Karate Kid, 1994. Morita went on to play Tommy Tanaka in the Kirk Douglas-starring television movie Amos, receiving his first Primetime Emmy Award nomination and second Golden Globe Award nomination for the role. He then starred in the ABC detective show O'Hara, 1987-1988. It was cancelled after two seasons due to poor ratings. By 2002, he made a guest appearance on an episode of Spy TV. In 2003, he had a cameo on an episode of Yes, Dear, as an unnamed karate teacher, potentially being Miyagi. He would also reprise his role in the stop-motion animated series Robot Chicken in 2005.
One of Morita's last television roles was as Master Udon on the 2006 SpongeBob SquarePants Season 4 episode, Karate Island. The episode was dedicated to him, airing about six months after his death. He married three times in his lifetime and had three daughters. Sadly, Morita died of kidney failure on November 24, 2005, at his home in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the age of 73. He was cremated at Palm Green Valley Mortuary and Cemetery in Las Vegas, Nevada. Goodbye Pat Morita